Team of the Season is finally here. If you're looking to get yourself any coins from the best supplier in town, check out my sponsor, FIFACoinZone.com, and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Happy Thursday once again. We are uh, week three of Team of the Season rewards, I believe. Premier League, Bundesliga. Yeah, we are. We're week three of, of Team of the Season rewards. Damn, time flies when you pack in terrible red cards. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to be opening rewards, of course, today. Um, so I'm excited to do it. And uh, we are less than a minute. In fact, how long are we away? We're eight seconds away from Foot Champs Rewards. So we might as well go ahead and claim Div Rival Rewards. We finished in rank two Div 1, which uh, grants us two ultimate packs and tradable. Fantastic. Happy about that. Um, I still don't have access to the transfer market. So untradables and good cards here. Please, EA. I would be very grateful if we could get that. Uh, we finished in goal one. Sadly, a disappointing week for me yet again to not hit Elite. Uh, I was very close. Yeah, very far. Um, I actually bottled it really hard. I was like 18 and 4 at one point, 18 and 3. Unfortunately, um, absolutely crumbled under the pressure. And uh, we didn't sadly get elite. But we go again this week and hopefully we can uh, we can amend those mistakes that we made. Uh, we've got two player picks now in terms of the team of the season. Anyone from uh, La, uh, La Liga Santander would be fantastic. In terms of any of the French players would be great. Um, I think don't know who's really in it to be honest uh let me have a quick look at the league team of the season so benzema suarez would be fantastic uh messi would be great but i do have a team of the year Messi that i can't currently sell so it would be a little bit of a bit sweet uh griezmann dembele iago aspas uh ben Yedda would all be fantastic here we go first red pick come on yay please show me one okay all right um not bad not a bad start we've got pablo sarabia which i'm happy about a 94 rated card um very decent stats. In fact, we got three La Liga plays in that one, so I'm pretty happy about that. Pablo Strawberry is a decent, decent, decent first pick, so we'll go ahead and take him. Second player pick coming up now. Come on, EA. Show me one of the French players, please. Come on. Not as great, sadly. A little bit disappointing. I'm going to take Parejo for the rating because uh, I would like to eventually submit him into some form of SBC. But two... Decent cards in terms of rating, at least. Uh, very good cards in terms of rating. And you know what? Uh, Paolo Sabria is pretty usable. I'll probably find some way to work him into the squad. So uh, we'll, maybe as a super sub, I'm not entirely sure. We'll figure something out. But uh, but not bad at all. I didn't take the uh, Onikura. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't take the um, the Turkish League player there, who does look fantastic, but mainly because I have an untradeable version of his team of season card on the bench, who, by the way, does look and plays. I've, I've only actually used him on the, off the bench in one game, but he, he felt pretty decent on the ball. Uh, but he does look fantastic in game. Regardless, we have now got two ultimate packs and two 100k packs. Come on, EA. Please bless me. One week. All I'm asking for is one week where I'm that guy that got incredible stuff in Div Rival Rewards and Champs Rewards. Please. The first pack is going to be a walkout, but no special card. It's going to be uh, Skriniar. 86 rated. I mean, not the worst, not the best. Again, all right for SBCs and whatnot, but that's pretty much it. And I, I don't, I'm not all that excited to be getting players where... The only good thing I can say about them is that they're decent SBC fodder. I would appreciate if we could pack ourselves something that wasn't just SBC fodder, if that makes sense. But uh, we've got a few dupes here. Uh, we've got William. We, we can send stuff to the transfer list. I do have stuff on the transfer list. I just can't sell those items. So uh, what I'm going to do here is, in fact, it doesn't really matter if I, if I swap all these over or not. I'm going to go ahead and swap over as many of these as I possibly can to get the coins, though. Because uh, we want to get, I guess, as many coins as we can. At the minute, what I'm doing with my coins is literally buying packs because there's certain consumables that I don't have in the club that I really would prefer to have in the club. So I'm actually buying packs with coins because I don't really withhold much of a choice at this moment. So uh, that is what we're doing. 6,000 coins for that. Uh, we've got another ultimate pack now. Come on, EA. Can we please get back to back walkouts? I beg. Yes, we can. Come on. Be a special card. It's a blue. Come on, please. Okay, then. All right. Well, it's the Turkish uh, center mid, Bel Zoglu. Sadly, unusable. Completely unusable. Benefit, it's an 88 rated special card. So, it withholds benefit. It really does. It's very decent. And we've got an inform in there, uh, Carlos Gill. So, you know what? Not the worst in the world. I'll happily take that. We've got a bunch of La Liga plays in there as well. Uh, let me swap over Jimenez. Let me swap over Kepa. The rest of them, I'm just going to discard. I don't want to make you guys sit through all of this uh, just for four or 5,000 coins. So, two 100k packs now for champs. EA, 
The same kind of look would be fantastic if we could just, you know, keep it going. That would be great. We have kept it going. We've got another walkout. It's not going to be a blue this time, though. What is it going to be? It's going to be French, CDM, N'Golo Kante. Very good. All right, we'll take that. If I was able to sell him right now, uh, what would he be going for? Kante. The UEFA Europa League winner himself holds a value of 87,000 coins. That is decent, in my opinion. That is a very decent pull. We'll take that. Anything else in the back? 384s. That is a very, very, very good pack. You know what? We'll take that. That is a really good pack. So we'll discard the rest. I'm happy with that. I think that's a decent 100k pack. Second 100k pack now. Can we get a clean sweep of walkouts? That is the question. Yes, we can. Four out of four. Not a blue, though, and it's not a special card. What's it going to be? It's going to be Brazilian, CDM, Fernandinho. 87 rated CDM. Not too bad. We will take it. I think I have him in the club already, so that is a transfer list player right there. But four special packs, four walkouts. You cannot complain, in my opinion. I think I've done pretty well. I think I have done pretty well, and we get Sterling in the same pack. I've done very well here. I have absolutely done very well for rewards here. I'm happy with that. Very, very decent, yeah, Very decent. Okay, so we've got more rewards to open. Let's go and open them now. Now it's time for George's rewards. We have got Division Rivals, Rank 1, of course, in Division 2. Go ahead and take the two Mega Packs and the two Ultimate Packs. Very nice indeed. And I believe George finished in Elite this week, which is also a massive GG's. Elite 3, fantastic achievement in my opinion. Very hard to get in this current state. Um, so he actually sent me a list of players, I do believe. Uh, let me have a quick look for it real quick. Messi, Griezmann, Suarez, Usmane, Ben Yedda, Alba, Benzema, then rating. So, we're going to go with the middle one. I feel like it might be lucky. First one. Sadly, uh, the two La Liga ones in this pool, in, sorry, in, in this pool of players was uh, Jesus Navas and Hermoso. Neither of which are on the list. We're going to go with Diagne as he is the highest rated in 93. Um, which, by the way, aside from the pace, actually is a pretty decent looking card. He's 6'3", not the best jumping, sadly, but uh, but some decent stats in there. Second player pick now. Is this the one that's going to be lucky? EA, this isn't cool. Don't reward people with elite like this. Two Super League plays because, like, why, man? Come on. Third and final one. This one's got to have Messi in, surely. Okay. All right. 95 old black. We're getting a higher rating there. But again, just like, come on, man. Really? Disappointing. But, you know, apparently Elite 3 gets rewarded worse than Gold 1. I think that's why a lot of the, the higher players in terms of, of ranking-wise, are, are like they don't appreciate this system of rewards as much as they appreciate um, other type of types of rewards because it just it feels like a lottery-based system. Regardless, George only wanted me to open his Premier League of Tots pack because he's saving everything for the next team of the season, hoping that it's better than this one because he's just not a fan. So hopefully, we can get ourselves a team of the season messy in this pack because otherwise, well, it's going to be disappointing, isn't it? Here we go. Come on. Please show us a team of the season messy, EA. Please. Team of the season messy. Come on. Show us that Argentinian flag. Come on. Spanish. That can't... Like, this... Oh, my word. I think this is the worst pack you possibly could have got. There's no way. Yep. I mean, it's, it's the second worst pack. The worst pack would have been Hedges Navas on the front of this, but that is absolutely dreadful, EA. That right there is dreadful. The only player you're missing out of this pack is instead of Borja Iglesias, having Ava Benega. That is the only thing that could have made this pack worse. That is dreadful. That is dreadful, EA. That's absolutely dreadful. I, I'm very disappointed right now on behalf of George. That's very sad and stupid and dreadful and i'm very disappointed in you ea you need to think about your actions because that is actually really really bad man like for hitting elite like how many coins are you going to make from this this card has a value of about 60 odd thousand coins maybe this card probably around the same maybe 
Uh, what is the value of Jesus Navas? Actually, I don't know what the value of Jesus Navas 118k for Jesus Navas, 57k for Borja Iglesias, 78k for Hermoso. In total, you're probably getting about 220, 30k, something like that. That's actually really annoying, EA. Come on, man. Why didn't you give me a title or thumbnail? Well, now it's time for Sam's rewards. I don't think they can get any better than that. Oh, sorry, any worse than that, should I say. Not any better. What am I talking about? I don't think they can get any worse than that, to be honest. I really don't. Uh, but we've got Sam's rewards nonetheless. Sam finished in rank one Div Rivals in Div 1, as he always does. Massive shout out for that. Uh, we get two Mega Packs, two Ultimate Packs. Um, and in Foot Jumps, the same as me. Big bottle. Big bottle. Sadly, Sam also bottled gold one. Wasn't quite in the fashion of mine. I was almost guaranteed elite at what one point. Like, when you've got to go five and four, I think. Was it five? Five and four I had to go to get elite three. And in my opinion, when I when I think about that record, even at max elo, I back myself 100% to do that. And I bottled it heavily. So, anyway. First player pick. I don't even have Sam's list up. Oh my, this is bad of me. Okay, I don't have Sam's list up. All right, uh, where where are you, Sam? There we go. Um, Messi, Griezmann, Ben Yedda, Suarez, Alba, Dembele, then rating. So sadly, we're going with rating on this one because it had none of the plays that you wanted in there. He's got Trezeguet, who has four-star skills, five-star weak foot. Actually, not bad stats, to be fair. He's 5'10". 80 jumping is not bad. 80 balance is pretty bad, though. Uh, good crossing. Not the worst of cards, but probably, I can almost guarantee, will be SBC fodder. Second one now. Come on, EA. Cho is one of the ones we want. It's going to be Santi Cazorla. I'm going to go with Santi Cazorla over Diagne there. Because uh, I just feel like rating-wise, they're both the same. And you get 5-star, five 5-star five with Santi Cazorla. So worst case scenario, like you do a, an objective with him or something. And you have a little bit of fun with the uh, with the, with the the El Tornados or whatever. But that's about it. We'll go ahead and store both those in the club. Again, disappointing rewards there. Uh, but we move on. I think, honestly, I think I've had the best rewards out of everyone this week. In gold one, so is what it is. And uh, if you're wondering, yeah, this week's a little bit shorter. Last week, obviously, we had a 30 minute reward video. This week, uh, most people were like, nah, we don't want you to open our rewards again, Ryan. Your reward looks sucks, despite me packing like a Havertz and, and like a, a red Sancho and whatnot. Apparently, my reward looks sucks, man. So they don't want me to open it anymore. Disappointing. But uh, but no, we move on. If any of you, any of you out there do have elite or higher foot champions rewards or will get a little higher this week then drop me a message on twitter i'm down to open some rewards uh we always have gold rewards so i just look for elite because it's we already have the gold rewards covered so elite is like the only ones we don't have covered so uh that is always why i'm looking for elite rewards and two mega packs in a row no walkout can we get a walkout in the ultimate packs please ea come on what okay gold contract packs i was wondering what packs were there and i, I totally forgot that i just claimed them all right first ultimate pack is not going to be a walkout sadly that is disappointing by the way, if you can hear anything going outside, a fence is being built right now. So I do apologize if you can hear any any kind of chainsaws or anything like that. That is super disappointing. That sadly, uh, sadly there was um, no walkout in that pack. That is actually that is actually quite poor, EA. So uh, we'll go ahead and store you on the transfer list because you wanted me to keep all the uh, all the duplicate La Liga players there. Second ultimate pack now. Come on, EA. Show me a walkout. Show me a walkout. Hmm. That's not a walkout, EA. It's not a walkout. It's Werner. That's not a walkout. I don't know what you're playing at, but I don't like it. They, they they always seem to give me one good set of rewards and the rest are just like bad. And this week, I mean, I'm not complaining too hard because they were my rewards that were good this week. But even still, like, EA, man, come on. Come on. Don't do this. Don't, don't, don't be bad like this. Come on. Come on. All right. Here we go. Two 100k packs now for champs, all tradable. This is where we want to see walkouts. If we're going to get walkouts, this is where we want to see when the first one's going to be a walkout. It's going to be an inform though, so it's not going to be great because the inform this week, uh, the, sorry, the team of the week this week is actually really bad. It's going to be Renato and Gusto, I think 84 rated, unusable card. He's probably going to be like 25, 30k though. So I guess he's, I guess he's a 25, 30,000 coin card in the club. Two informs and an 85, not the worst in the world actually. We'll store those on the transfer list. Uh, store the rest and uh, there is no La Liga. Okay, there's no La Liga so we'll just discard the rares. Okay, second 100k pack now. Let's get back to my walkouts. Let's see a better special card than an inform. What a way. What a way to end the video. Well, um, that didn't end quite the way I wanted it to. 
quite the way I was hoping or expecting. Uh, I really was expecting a walkout there. I'll be truthful. I, I was expecting a walkout there. I really did think we were going to get a walkout, and sadly we didn't. But you know what? Not the worst rewards in the world for me, so I'm happy. But also very poor rewards for the two people that I opened for. So I'm quite disappointed at the same time, EA. I feel like the reward system shouldn't just be a complete lottery in terms of reds. I feel like Elite, not only should it guarantee you at least one La Liga pool, but I feel like either it should guarantee you two or three La Liga pools in those player picks, or there should be a rating minimum of like 90, because Elite is so difficult to get the, these these past few weeks. It's been almost impossible. I've only hit it once, and the other two times it's been virtually impossible. It's very, very difficult, and uh, I, I personally struggle quite a lot. So I feel like... The, the, the reward system, maybe the tier should be changed ever so slightly, but that's just coming from the, the, the likes of me. If you agree or disagree, let me know down below. Thank you for watching this video. I'm very tired. If you're wondering why I'm a little bit weird today, I'm just very tired, but I appreciate you all chilling. Uh, what am I saying? I'll see you later.